Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another video. I am going to apologize ahead of time for this glare. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it on, this ring light on, while I show you the colors, and then when I'm working, I'm going to shut it off because no matter which way I position it, because the background is black and already has a resin surface on it, you're going to see that ring no matter what. So, what I'm working with today is I got in some KS Resin, the Ultra UV Epoxy. Now this here is um, $90 a gallon. You can get smaller sizes. It's got the no VOCs, very low odor. Um, I have to put my nose right in it and you get that little tiny, tiny smell. I would compare it to Stone Co. or Art Resin. It's very, very low odor. Um, as you see, dry to the touch in 12 hours. Doming capabilities, full cure in only three days, 45 plus minute working time. Again, that time depends on what you're mixing into your resin because if you use something like acrylic paint, you're never going to get, no matter what brand you have, that long of a working time. So, I love this stuff, guys. It's free shipping. They only deliver in the U.S. They do not deliver out of state. Free shipping. And, as I said, this is the Ultra UV. You can get the regular liquid art epoxy for $70 a gallon. So, check them out. Now, they also sent me some base tints and um pigments to try out so i have uh one two three of the pigments i'm trying today i'm not trying the base tint today um the colors that i did when i opened them to look at them i kind of wiped them on a piece of white paper for you to see so i'll just go over quickly this is the bubble gum salt water uh boysenberry dragon scale the black is pirate's blood it's like a black pearl then here we have gunmetal ivory beautiful ivory white shimmery color um the gold is called el dorado then we have red velvet and flamingo so let me try to Move these around a little bit. Let's see if you could catch the colors of them. They're starting to dry, but very pretty shimmery colors. And what I like to do is I like to have a luster color, which this would be considered a luster color, to go along with my Galaxy Diamond colors from Color Art. They offset each other along with a matte color which I'm going to be using black for that but they offset each other that is purple galaxy and it's a very very pretty sparkly resin art color now these do not have glitter in them although they look like they have glitter in them they do not those are the mica flakes that reflect off the light there's no glitter. So that one I just showed you was the Purple Galaxy. Here's the Dragon Scale mixed up by KS Resin. Your nice metallic aqua looking color. Aqua teal. Turquoise. I would say an aqua color. This here is the boysenberry. I apologize, my camera's having a hard time with that black in the background. This here is just some um, Krylon spray paint in silver. I sprayed some into the paper cup and then added the resin to it. This beautiful color here is called Brazilian Sky, and it is from Resin Art. Then my black is just a black um, 
Lorez Black. Then I have Pink Mink by Resin Art. Resin Art is made by Color Art. A lot of sparkly in that too. And it's not just a shimmer. The, the flakes, when they refract off the light, <clears throat> they are, they look purple and they look pink. It's not just the, the shimmery um, shininess. And this one is Flamingo by KS Resin. Okay. So, I'm ready to go here. I'm going to turn off this light. So at least we don't have that. I still have the overhead light a little bit, but I can live with that. So what you're looking at is my 16 by 16 artist panel that has sides, two and a half inch sides. This piece I had originally resined to put the background down and you can see that video. I will link it above. You're going to see an eye pop up right now. It will show you how I did this background with the mulberry paper. And um, so it has cured. I had to, to put the resin down because the mulberry paper that I used for the background has um, grooves in it. So I wanted a flat surface to work on. So that's why it's so shiny already. It's been, it's cured uh, three or four days ago. So now I'm going to work on top of it and I will be able to see this background through my artwork. And what I'm thinking of doing with the colors is kind of a little bit like a Dutch pour, blowing it around and, uh, keeping it to a, a refined area so that I don't lose a lot of that background. But the first thing I need to do is put down some clear. So here comes my clear. I probably should blow this off a little bit before we start. My <laughs> airbrush, can air. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm gonna pour this clear on. Now, I don't need the colors to really float on top of this, but I just want to make sure that I have a good layer down to work on top of. The KS resin, the directions are to mix it for two minutes, making sure that you scrape your bottoms and sides, just like we do with all the other ones, and then scrape your stick off and mix it for another two minutes. So that's four minutes total. If you're using more, like if you're pouring the whole kit at once, like to do a countertop or something, obviously you're going to mix more than four minutes. It depends on how much you're mixing up. But you just want to make sure when you first start mixing the two together, and this is a two-part epoxy, so one part of hardener and then the same amount of resin, um, when you first mix the two together right in the beginning, if you look at the resin, you'll see it looks like it has strings glistening through it. You want to continue to mix your resin until those are no longer seeable. Now this is a big canvas, so I'm hoping you can see all of it. I'm just going to double check. I cannot raise my tripod any higher because I'm only 5'2 and I can't see to press the record button without getting a ladder. So we're not going to be doing that. I mean, it is so hot in Connecticut. The least I have to do, the better. The chickens are laying fried, fried eggs. It's so hot. The squirrels are picking their nuts up with pot holders. All right, that should be good. So, now that I have that down, I'm going to very quickly torch to get rid of my air bubbles. Now, 
You can pop air bubbles with the heat gun, but the torch is more direct. Whereas the heat gun, you have to keep applying a lot of heat to pop them all. And eventually you start heating up your resin too much. And I feel like you can't get all of them. So the torch, the flame directly hits the surface and pops them right away for you. So that's why we like to use a torch. But if you have to use a heat gun because you have nothing else, then I suppose, you know, give it a whirl and just keep watching it to see if you got them all. You just got to be very careful. that you don't burn your resin with that. Now there's a lot I was stirring really, really fast. So I'm gonna let this sit for a minute while you guys are paused, of course, and then I will get all my bubbles popped and then I'll be back. All right, I'm ready to go. I just wanted to let it sit for a minute because I had really mixed fast and I don't like to torch too much after my design is done, so I like to get as many as I can ahead of time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a puddle of black. Um, let's go right here. And I realized that black underneath looks a lot blacker than this black. That looks like a gray almost. So we'll take care of that though. It's fine. So on top of that, I think I'm going to add a little bit of that silver spray paint then my purple galaxy that is gorgeous color I think what I'll do is I'll keep the colors together so this is the boysenberry Then we'll go with the Aruba Sky. This is resin art. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I almost want to turn that light back on because we really need you to see that color. This is a dragon scale that is so beautiful next to it. Then I think I'm going to put a little more of that black. But you know what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to add some more black paste to this. It just may be what it is. You know, it may just, in the cup it's very black. It just may look lighter against that background but i'll add a little bit more just to be sure though those colors together are just dreamy in person all right so let's see now see now this here is going to look a lot more blacker on top of that blue. Either way, whether I had added it or not. I'm going to put a little more silver. Then 
Not too much because I don't want it to start running off my board. Then we're going to go with the pink mink. Love this color. Love the name. And then the flamingo. And we are going to top that off with some black. Right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my heat gun. I'm gonna warm the entire surface. And I wonder if you guys could handle this slight. Uh, it's very distracting. And then I'm going to blow the colors around and see what kind of design I can get out of it. The heat gun I'm using, I have this linked in my Amazon shop, has an attachment that helps with patterns when you want it to go out wider. So it's got this nice wide nozzle on the end. It comes with five attachments. Under $30, I love this thing. So I'm just heating the surface of the entire piece before I start moving. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there with the heat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some colors in that center and do a little swiping. Um, let's see here. Just wanna make sure I have the right tools here. So I'm going to add a little of the black, even though we have some black, I realize that. Just gonna add some that hasn't been heated up. Um, some of the silver. And 
okay and then I'm going to repeat this and you're gonna see me I'm gonna put you on time-lapse for this so the video doesn't really take forever here But I'm just going to blow some more colors over this black area. And let's do a little bit of this. And let's see. Let's take this like this. Just kind of swiping a little bit. You just play around with it a little bit till you get it where you want it, you know? Um, it's all in what you're looking for. So as I said, I'm going to Keep playing with this, but I'll do it on time lapse so you don't have to sit here while I keep playing and playing. You know, I let this sit for a minute just looking at it, and there's something about it that I just I really, really like it. I know it's odd looking, but here's the thing. I'm going to add a few more colors here. As you're seeing me do now, I'm not going to put you on time lapse. And I'm just going to leave it alone because I'm really, really liking the center. So I'm just going to add some colors just like this. I'm sure that it's not everyone's taste, but I guess in the end, it's what I like, right? <laughs> Believe me, I hear all about the people that don't like my stuff. So here we go. Just going to concentrate on the center to get some of these colors that are pretty blended in a chance to shine by streaking them through. A little too much. Let's see here. So I'm just taking the stick and weaving it through. Once you guys are able to actually see what I've done here, you'll see all the pretty colors intermingling. Reminding me of a flower a little bit. Be 
I'll use one more color and then call it quits. So go check out KS Resin. I have a coupon code below. And um, I'm really, really happy with the stuff. As I said, it's gives me what I need. And I can be very demanding, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to leave this alone, guys, because I am digging it. It's very odd. Yeah, I am digging it. So let me give you guys a close-up so that you can actually see it. All right, so I'm showing you this upside down, not from my view, because from the other view, you're going to see too much of a glare. So, and I will show you it from my view so that you can see what I was seeing. I just have to shut off the light to do that. So a lot of these colors are intermingling with each other. All right, let me uh, shut this off. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so yeah, there's just too much, too much. Uh, you can see my pouring mediums and everything. In there. Too much glare. Anyway, that's it for today. As I said, go check out KS Resin. Go check out Color Art. Colors play very nicely together. And I'm very happy about that. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And all the links that you need are in the description. Well, not all the ones that I have. Um, if you're looking for a Facebook group to join, I have one with my friend Lisa Wyatt, who also has a channel. So head on over to United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. There is a link there. There's a lot of help and uh, really nice people in there. So hope to see you there. And until next time, my friends, happy pouring. I wish you could see my painting, but you can't. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.